understand states of consciousness as per agama is not states of mind as per fraud power manifestation is not telekinesis telekinesis is not equivalent to power manifestation states of mind as per fraud is not equivalent to states of consciousness god god is not equivalent to sada shiva western idea of enlightenment is not equivalent to hindu jivan mukti western idea of heaven and hell is not equivalent to hindu kailasa or naraka please understand you can't do in telekinesis all these third eye reading is not equivalent to mid brain activity those are all small things stolen from hindu tradition that is why they do not have a logic of connecting everything they can't connect everything so do not try to have wrong understanding sada shiva is god no he is god l god means god generation operation destruction here he has two more extra responsibility lord of delusion and liberation in agama the activity of mahadeva is five srishti sthiti vinasa trobhava anugraha manifestation maintenance withdrawal delusion and liberation five aspects is not equivalent to 3 don't even think 60% no there's no percentage in it same way 25 states cannot be equated to 3 states the very understanding is different same way the so called west knows only western science knows only four dimension length breadth depth time they don't even know fully about space i'm going to experience give you experience of 11 dimensions to understand don't try to map it with the western words i am not against it i am only saying it is too poor it is like you describe lot of drops of water put together is ocean you know what na in the glass glass like this lot of glasses put together ocean you think this is the description of ocean no there is totally it is totally different dimension see i am going to stitch the most subtle part of you with my spiritual umbilical cord so the most subtle part of you is where you feel you exist i'm going to touch that part this initiation is called nirvana diksha where you stand with guru literally naked not without this cloth not that naked you are very being naked you are core being touched only then the turiya atita can be infused into your body and mind in your being aspect and doing aspect see morning when i was explaining i was giving two words mind and body 
it's for you to roughly understand much better word is the body can be considered as being aspect mind doing aspect understand you may be thinking i will give the diff no no body is the being aspect of you mind is the doing aspect of you mind does first body always follows anything your body does mind has finished doing you cannot say vice versa you can't say vice versa anything your body has do is doing mind has finished can you say anything your mind is doing body has finished no doing aspect of you is represented by mind being aspect of you is represented by body that's the two words i used which is again rough equa roughly equating doing being can be much better word now your core existence i'm going to connect with it the initiation is going to be very soft process almost like breeze no music no dance no jumping it's going to be almost like a stitching how the surgeon stitches you when you have some injury i'm going to just stitch it stitch your ananda ganda with my ananda ganda just go and sleep actually you can't sleep you will see your body your being aspect is in turiya and the doing aspect just settles on the turiya it's like you will be skating on turiya you will be just skating on turiya hmm? this is not hypnotism mesmerism what you are doing not telekinesis no western equivalent word exists for this it is not even siddhi it is shakti understand siddhi is step mother chitti <laughs> shakti is mother i'll tell you the difference between siddhi and shakti siddhi the powers you gain while you are traveling towards enlightenment cognition shakti you are due to shakti pada the enlightenment cognition shifted in you from that whatever grows is shakti listen because of shakti pada the transmission of lamp happens from that cognition whatever grows is shakti shakti is mother siddhi is step mother <laughs> shall we start listen listen to the instruction i am going to chant mahavakya as an intense vibration so whatever sound releases from your system allow it to release just try to in tune with mahavakya you will not be able to catch up to my breath actually please understand the body i use in kailasa the body now i am using with you is different the language i am using in kailasa the language i am using with you is different but the breathing i am doing in kailasa and breathing i am doing here is same this breath now goes to kailasa and comes back only in prana i am connected all of you are getting what i am saying so i am going to mix the mahavakya into the prana and breathing 
you will not be able to cope up with my frequency but when you are trying to cope up many sounds will get released like a cough or yawning or many patterns will get released through various sounds allow it to get released allow it to get released clear so i am not asking you to chant loudly with me i am asking you try to tune with me means when i am chanting just try to hum along with me mm. capturing my chandas not sound listen i am not asking you to repeat what i am chanting i am asking you to catch the rhythm of my chanting you understand the difference between the word and the rhythm i am going to chant the mahavakya om nityananda maha sada shivoham i am not asking you to move your tongue and chant along with me keep your lips closed hum along with me mm-hmm. capture the chandas tune of the rhythm i am chanting don't try to capture the word i am chanting if you try to capture the word i am chanting you will be very grass physical but i am i want you to be very subtle so just hum along with me i am going to be chanting but you are going to hum along with me so many things will be cleared you will see many pains in many parts of your body will get released that is nothing but when this 25 states of consciousness opens up in your system tremendous healing happens listen very clearly now i am going to open all these 25 states of consciousness in you very clearly in your being aspect and doing aspect so problems becomes power shall we start just hum along with me see after today's initiation go and sleep whole night you will be humming automatically you don't need to try you will be humming tomorrow onwards whenever you do power manifestation you don't need to chant the mahavakya hum the mahavakya you will see power manifest when you chant the way you manifest powers when you hum you will manifest 10000 times more because the intensity is different till now you were running on battery now only you are getting hooked to the grid kailash grid nityananda maha sada shivoham om nityananda maha sada shivoham om nityananda maha sada shivoham om nityananda maha sada shivoham don't chant just hum only then that all the patterns will be released only then the intense sounds will be broken in your system om nityananda maha sada shivoham 
just keep your lips closed like see do lips should be closed only the frequency should be happening in you capture my chandas means my tune my rhythm see my rhythm is connected to the breath my sound is connected to your listening listen carefully mucha pudicha sittam pecha pudicha pitta it's a it's a statement from a siddha when i am making if you capture the word you will only become mad if you capture the rhythm the breath you will become enlightened understand moocha pudicha sittam pecha pudicha pitta so capture my breathing my rhythm tune yourself for that a great siddhar called bohar who has established parani temple he has written a beautiful book called karukkidai nigand means how the thought current can be impregnated into an herb nigand means dictionary thought current karukkidai means making it putting that thought current and making an object pregnant with that thought current in that he describes peechai pidikka pittan moochai pidikka sittan so capture my rhythm along with me i'll repeat now om nityananda maha sadashivoham ನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾ ಸದಾ ಶಿವೋಹಂ ಓಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾ ಸದಾ ಶಿವೋಹಂ ಓಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾ ಸದಾ ಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ಓಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ಓಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ಓಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ಓಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ಓಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ಓಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾ ಶಿವೋಹಂ ಓಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ಓಂ ನಿತ್ಯ 
ಸಾಕ್ಷಾನಂದ ಮಹಾ ಸದಾ ಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ 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 ಮಹಾ ಸದಾ ಶಿವೋಹಂ 
ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾ ಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾ ಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾ ಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾ ಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವೋಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಮಹಾಸದಾ ಶಿವೋಹಂ ಓ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ 
महा सदा शिवोहम ओ निनंद 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 महा सदा शिवोहम